do subscribe to the channel the 50th meeting of the executive committee of the national mission for clean ganga nmcg was held under the chairmanship of dg nmcg shri ji ashok kumar where seven projects worth around us 692 crore were approved the ministerial conference on women's empowerment under the g20 indian presidency chaired by union minister of women and child development smt Smriti Zubin Irani is set to take place in Gandhinagar, Gujarat from 2nd to the 4th of August 2023. The Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi flagged off metro trains marking the inauguration of completed sections of Pune Metro. The beautiful Indian state of Goa has been chosen to host the world's biggest and most prestigious national pageant for men, the Rubaru Mr India competition. Nagaland has been officially declared as a lumpy skin disease positive state. The combined index of eight core industries (ICI) increased by 8.2% provisional in June 2023 as compared to the index of June 2022. The gross GST revenue collected in the month of July 2023 is 165,105 rupees crore, of which CGST is 29,773 crore rupees, SGST is 37,623 crore rupees. IGST is 85930 crore rupees including 41239 crore rupees collected on import of goods and CES is 11779 crore rupees including 840 crore rupees collected on import of goods the directorate general of training DGT under the aegis of the ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship MSDE is collaborating with Amazon web services AWS India to upskill students in cloud computing, data annotation, artificial intelligence, AI, and machine learning (MILILITER) to boost their capabilities and employability. Telecom Regulatory Authority of India (TRI) and the Centre for Development of Telematics (CDOT) signed a Memorandum of Understanding (MAU). Indian shooters and archers bagged six medals, including four golds, at the World University Games in Chengdu, China. Small Industries Development Bank of India (SIDBI), the principal financial institution for micro, small and medium enterprises (MSMEs) in the country, announced its partnership with the Indian Institute of Management (Ahmedabad's IIMA) Startup Incubator Centre for Innovation, Incubation and Entrepreneurship (CIIE) to set up a SIDBI Accelerator Fund at the incubator with an initial corpus of 20 crore rupees. Max Life Insurance Company Limited. Max Life has been appointed as the lead insurer for the state of Uttar Pradesh (UP) by the Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India (IRDAI). Fino Payments Bank Limited has approved a proposal to transition into a small finance bank (SFB). As per the Finance Ministry, over 65% growth has been seen in 2022 from 2021 in the frauds reported for ATMs and others. To reach out to 5,000 children, the Uttar Pradesh (UP) government decided to expand the Bal Shramik Vidya Yojana to all 75 districts. Jharkhand Chief Minister (CM) Shri Hemant Soren launched Jharkhand Elephant Tracker, a mobile application-based elephant movement tracking system, on the occasion of the 74th Van Mahotsav in Ranchi to reduce human-elephant conflicts in Ranchi, Jharkhand. The United States Senate confirmed Indian American policy expert and businesswoman Nisha Desai Biswal as the Deputy Chief Executive Officer of the US International Development Finance Corporation (DFC). The National Assessment and Accreditation Council (NAAC) has appointed educationist Professor Ganesan Kanabiran as its new director for 5 years. Hughes Network Systems and EcoStar (NASDAQ) SAT's company announced its Jupiter 3 ultra high density satellite has successfully launched on a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket from historic Kennedy Space Center launch pad 39A in Florida, United States of America, USA.